Okay, we are going to start learning goal 5, which is now the application piece. I can solve story problems involving division, so make sure that you write that down. And just a quick review, we've learned three different ways to solve division problems. Division, or three different types of division problems. Division without decimals, division with decimals, and division with two digit divisors, so with the two digits on the outside. So this one right here, Olivia has $8, her mom has 4,784. How many times more money does her mother have? So that would be like 8 times what gets you to 4,784, but we know that that just means division. So if I'm writing this out, write it up here. If I have 4,784 divided by 8. So 8 goes into 4, not, no times, so I need to go to the next one. 8 goes into 47, 5 times. 8 times 5 is 40. And then I subtract. Bring down my next one. 8 goes into <coughs> 78. How many times? Well, 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 10 would get me to 80, and that's too much. I subtract. Bring down. So it goes into 64 how many times? You should recognize that fact. 8 times 8 is 64. Subtract, I have 0. So in the end, Olivia's mom has 598 times more money than Olivia. So that would be our answer. So there's an example of one. Now it is going to be your turn to solve one. <clears throat> the problem I want you to try and solve is a potter can make 2,513 different kinds of pots and bowls by combining different shapes and colors. If he knows how to make seven different shapes, then how many colors does the potter have? So again, this is going to be a simple division problem, so go ahead and set it up and solve it in whichever method you prefer, and we will be checking that tomorrow. And if you could number this in your journal, number one, that would be great. Okay, now on to our next one, which is dividing with decimals. So Maria has eight and nine, 169 thousandths meters of rope. She wants to cut it into three equal pieces to make jump ropes for her three friends. How long will each jump rope be? So we need to divide that number out. So if I write that out up here, again, our decimals on the inside, if it was, which means we're going to be moving it to the left in our answer. If it was on the outside, we'd be moving it to the right. Remember that rule. So 3 goes into 8 twice. Subtract. Bring down my 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 3 times 7 is 21. Now if you notice, I have 0, but that doesn't mean I'm done, because I'm not done with my whole problem yet. I still have to keep bringing down until I'm done, get through all my numbers. 3 goes into 6 twice. And again, I have a remainder of 0 here. It's not technically a remainder yet. Bring down, 3 goes into 9 3 times. I'm going to draw right over my problem. Now I'm done. Am I though? If I have 2,723 meters, just stop and think if that actually makes sense. She has a jump rope that's only 8 and some meters, and I'm saying she can divide it in 3 and get 2,723. So it should be pretty obvious that I forgot my decimal. You notice there's one, two, three after your decimal, so you need to move it one, two, three. So you end up with two point or two and seven hundred and twenty three thousandths meters. So there's your example with the decimal. So now <clears throat> we're gonna clear this and you will get a chance to try one on your own. So go ahead and number your journal number two. 
So here's your problem, and like I said, if you could please number it, number two. Tony has seven and forty-seven hundredths pounds of rabbit food. He will divide it equally among his nine rabbits. How much food will each rabbit get? So you, again, you can use whichever method you prefer um, to go ahead and solve this. So go ahead and do that and bring it with you tomorrow. We got one more type. Okay, this next one is a little tricky. Um, Hector picked 1,375 oranges in his fruit orchard. He will pack them in crates to take them to the market. Each crate holds 24 oranges. How many crates will Hector fill and how many oranges will be left over? So I'm going to be taking my number over here, 1,375, and I'm going to be dividing it by 24. And if you remember, the first step when you're dividing a double digit there is to round this. And since the number is below 5, we round it down. So I'm thinking 20. So how many times does 20 go into 13? It doesn't. All right, so how many times does 20 go into 130? Um, and this is 137, so um, I'm just going to say 130 for ease of reference. I know 20 goes into 100 five times, and then another one would be 120. If I go again, it would go to 140, which would be too much. So the answer would be 6. But if you remember, I need to multiply this by 24. So I'm going to use this top up here as my little scratch paper. So I would, just off to the side, solve this problem. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So now I've got 144. Hmm, that looks too much, doesn't it? So it looks like I need to change this to a 5. So 24 times 5 would be 120. So I put my 120 down here and subtract, end up with 7 and a 5. So how many times does 20 go into 75? Oh, I know 20, 40, 60, so that would be 3. So f now, again, I'm not multiplying 3 times 20, though I have to multiply it times the real number 24. So, 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 72. So I subtract and I have 3 left over, so I have a remainder of 3 in this instance. So I know this is kind of a jumbled up mess, but we ended up with 53 with a remainder of 3. So the question, there were actually two. How many crates will Hector fill? So how many of those will he fill completely? That would be this number right here. So he would fill 53 crates. And then the next question is how many does he have left over? Well, that's my remainder. So he will have three, oops, three left over. Wow, my writing is kind of a mess on this thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, um, We've answered this was a, a pretty tricky question. So now you're going to get a chance to try one. So go ahead and mark your paper with a number three. Okay, so this is your last one. So if you could number three. The skateboard at the Speed Demon shop sells for 76 each. This week the shop owner sold $5,396 worth of skateboards. So how many skateboards were sold total? So you need to do that division problem, work that out, and um, be ready to talk about it tomorrow.